Is it necessary to explain the why of what you're doing as a leader if you're not ever asked why? My varsity athletes never question anything as I assume they're e- they either think that I'll, it'll be disrespectful or because they simply think they need to follow my directions. Uh, yeah, they should absolutely know why. And people on your team do not need to ask you why for you to tell them you should tell them why they're doing what they're doing that way they can lead that way they have a deeper understanding of what they're doing that way they know how to act and what to do when you're not there which you won't always be there and when you do that they actually learn they are actually learning how to lead themselves because they start to understand the importance of knowing why so you know this 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 happens to me i mean there's a lot of people that have worked for me over the years that I didn't need to tell them why to do anything. Mm. Bro, they were ready to rock and roll. Like, they did not care. Mm. I mean, you think JP ever looked at me and said, hey, hey, sir, can you explain <laughs> to me why you want me to do that? Mm. No, he's like, mm. JP, machine gun nest, attack. <laughs> he's attacking. Like, by the, by the time I get mm. ah, out of my mouth, he's going. Yeah. So there was no re- there's no reason. There's, he's never going to ask me why. Mm. You know, at least not back then. You know, now that we work together all the time, if I'm like, hey, I think we should do this, he'd say, well, why, why do you want me to do that? Because he's, mm-hmm. you know, he's running FTXs and he knows what's going on more than I do. So if I tell him to do something or I ask him to do something, he might say, well, why do you want me to do that? What's the effect you're looking for? So it's different now. Yeah. But my point is, much like a varsity athlete, you know, that respects their coach and likes their coach and wants to do a good job, well, when JP was 21 years old, he wasn't asking me why to do anything. Yeah. And you know, for that matter, that was that was true for a lot of people that have worked for, for me over the years. Mm-hmm. Like they trust me and they don't they don't need to know why they're doing what they're doing. They're going to do it. They're going to do it to the best of their ability. That doesn't mean that I don't tell them why. Yeah. Because I absolutely should. Cuz if you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, you can't lead decentralized command doesn't work. Can't make decisions in the field. So even with football athletes, it's cool that they're totally just on board. But you should still tell them why, because it's a good principle to follow in any leadership situation. Yeah, yeah, especially as a coach too, man. That'll like supercharge the, like the, the learning process, I think, or the training process. Like even like in jujitsu, there's good examples like like hip escape or shrimping, right? Mm-hmm. You know, when you first start or whatever. If you're just doing it across the mat, you're getting taught how to do it and all this stuff, and you're kind of like, oh, like I don't really get uh, why we're doing it good point. right now. You're gonna Later, it, you find yeah. out. Yeah, you just do it because everyone else is doing it. What are you gonna do? A new martial arts class. And yeah. you're going to start asking. That's the actually an, an excellent example. Is if you know why you're learning the hip escape, then you do it with better intent. Oh, yeah. And no one could tell just by watching you do it whether what your intent was or not. Yeah. Even though they might get a little scent of your intent, <laughs> but it's one of those situations. If you know why you're doing it, you're going to do it better. Just like if you're coaching football and you got guys running a certain thing, they're not going to ask you why, but if you tell them why they know why they're doing it, they're going to do, they're going to do it better. Yeah. So true. The football thing. Cause in football you do kind of some, some oddball things. If you, if you just see it on the surface, Mm -hmm. you know, there's thing called grass drills, right? Where you just basically, you get your feet, like you kind of run in place real fast, Mm -hmm. like kind of a little bit wider stance. And then you like basically you sprawl, sprawl, you know, yeah. And you know, you hit the ground, you get back up real quick, and then you and they do there's all these drills you do, right? Mm-hmm. They face the ball this way, then you turn and then you come back and you're you're chopping your feet the whole mm-hmm. time, right? So on on the surface, I, I remember when I was like little doing that, I remember thinking, Oh yeah, this is just like conditioning. Mm-hmm. Really? Like moving your whole body, conditioning, getting back up. But after a while you're like Nah, because if you get knocked down, mm-hmm. which you will, like, bro, football, you can get knocked down like three times in within like 15 seconds, mm-hmm. you know, like the faster you can get up and start running again, it's like, bro, that's a good skill to have, you know, kind of thing. So if you're drilling that every single day, every single, every single day, not only do you get better and quicker at that, it becomes way more instinctual. So, okay. Then there's a lot more to it, mm-hmm. obviously, but man, if someone was explaining that to you every time you're doing it, like even just yelling it out, yeah. just calling it out as yeah. it's happening, like, good, this is going to get you guys up quick when you get knocked down on a play, yeah. but you know, just yelling it out, who cares, whatever. You don't have to sit them down and say, this is why you're doing these guys. You don't have to say that necessarily. Yeah. I'm saying in a football situation, but if you're going through that training with that in your mind, like, oh, I know why I'm doing this, bro. Doing you're going to, you're going to charge that thing and, and you're going to problem solve better while you're training. Yeah, man. It's yeah. Kind of goes deep on that one. I used to, when I was coaching a lot of MMA fighters, 
I would always be telling them why they're doing a drill. And it made me think of when you were saying, you know, even if they're just yelling at you, you know, yeah. I'd be like, this is the end of the round. This is where you're going to, you know right. what I mean? Or yes. if you're down here, this is where you're going to have to get back up. This is where the fight gets won. Like, yeah. you know, because, oh, yeah. you know, some fighters, if they get taken down and they're a striker and they're going against a good grappler, if they get taken down, they're going to have to get back up to win the fight. Yeah. And so when they know that, you can see it compute yeah. in their brain. Whereas yeah. if I'm just saying, get back up. Yeah. <laughs> no. So tell people why.